Tony Williams is my musical idol, and Kanye West is the worst for sure. Steve Jobs is dead. Walt Disney is dead. I'm dead. Olive drab green is the ugliest color in the world. Even if my favorite breakfast is olive drab green, I still won't eat it. Peter Sellers is my favorite actor of all time. I've watched the movie Dr. Strangelove a million times. I was born and raised in Salt Lake City. My most favorite memory is attending U of U football games with my dad and my brother and going to the ice cream parlor after. By the way, I have two siblings. My sister's name is Melanie, who is a stay-at-home mom and my brother Randy has passed. I have two children, Matt who is 18 and Natalie who is 21, and one wife. My wife won't let me date. Here is my office room. It seems a little bit small, but I think it's big enough for my stuff and my lunch. The most nightmarish thing for me is to be on stage with real dancers and not knowing what I'm doing with or without clothes on. Fortunately, I am living in my childhood dream now. I am a drummer playing for dance. And I love Supergirl. I am Wayne Coons. I always wash hair first. My name is Wayne Coons and I'm the head musician here at the University of Utah Dance Department. I've been an accompanist here for over 30 years. I started playing music when I was nine, so doing the math that's probably 85 years or something like that. My favorite would be the drums and that's the only instrument that uh, I learned how to play and various percussion. I understand that uh, uh, my job was uh, to provide um, uh, musicians, so I, so I do the staffing uh, for all of the classes. Uh, I hire and train musicians and just make sure all the technique classes uh, have a musician. What I understand about uh, dance and uh, being an accompanist is uh, pretty much intuitive. I was uh, self-taught. I had a little bit of help from uh, Professor John Scoville uh, to get started, but nobody played drums. So uh, I just had to figure that out by myself. And I just uh, kind of put myself in the place of the dancers and uh, try to imagine what would be helpful, what would they like to hear um, to, uh, to accompany that, that class and then just take it from there. And it's just evolved into what I do now for better or worse. I love playing the drum kit because it's uh, it takes a lot of coordination, four-way coordination, to play that. It takes a lot of skills uh, to, to be proficient at it. And I enjoy the place I'm at now, uh, playing all these years all my life. Anything uh, that's uncomfortable is when I crack a joke and it's not funny and nobody laughs. <laughs> I try to stay away from that, uh, uh, having more power in the class. I feel like I um, contribute um, enough playing. Uh, however, if it's uh, uh, helpful with a grad student or something, um, then I might interject something and, and help out the class that way. You know, watching classes all these years and stuff, I see uh, probably the same things that you would see if you stepped out of the dance class. Uh, but uh, uh, to quote uh, uh, Abby Fiat, a professor here, um, she said, uh, does the dance look like it feels? So when I see dancers, uh, you know, I think they could go more uh, full out or something, and that's what I see uh, on a daily basis. However, when they go into performance mode on stage, uh, it seems to transcend all those boundaries and they look great. I, I think as far as doing more for our school, I can speak for myself. I try to do uh, everything I can um, to fill in the cracks on things that aren't being done uh, behind the scenes uh, and, and everything.
everything like that, and I've, I've done pretty much everything I can, I can see that has to be done. My favorite place in the dance building is right here in this uh, uh, chair right now. You know, close the door and, and just be there. So this is one of my favorite restaurants, uh, Cafe Diablo. They had a local artist uh, come up with these uh, postcards and, and uh, art that they had hanging up. Uh, and this was one of my favorite meals, a half a rack of ribs on uh, sweet potato base. All the vegetables were out of their gardens. Um, this is a few shots of uh, uh, musicians I used to play with. His name is DeKale. Uh, came in a, a guitar player I said I need a bass player so he brought in a bass and uh, we played bass and, uh, and drums for the class um, this is a Halloween this is Pam I'm in the background this is Shari Brent uh, Abby and that's Steve this was a was nurse or a doctor uh, this was another Halloween uh, when I was a doctor. Uh, I had all the uh, uh, stuff that uh, I got from my wife. She's a nurse. Freshman class of 07. <laughs> um, Emily uh, Teardrop uh, went on to be the uh, uh, number one dancer uh, that year. She was uh, performed her work um, at the uh, Kennedy Art Center. Thank you so much. Yeah. <laughs> Dance in three words. Energy, creative expression, and flow. Okay, can you use three words to describe the company? Um, being supportive, uh, motivative, and inspiring. I feel incredibly comfortable, even when I'm the only male in the room. I love playing for you all and sitting behind or beside you all forever.